Hey guys, Anthony here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes, and I am at Sony's US headquarters in San Diego, California. We're about to go inside and take a look at the inner workings of a camera that everyone is excited about, the Sony Alpha A77. I'm joined now by Mark from the digital imaging team, and you actually came in last month and showed us a first look at the A77 when you announced it. And we have gotten tons of questions from our viewers about all of the new technology that makes the 77 work. So can you take me through all of the new bits and pieces here? So the first part is the translucent mirror you can see here. We introduced this technology last year with the 33 and the 55. Right. It's really the heart of the 77 in that it allows the camera to focus while it's shooting. Very important for still images, but also very, very important for video as well. And uh, what we've done with the 77 is we've increased the performance in every area, the translucent mirror, the focusing system as well. Okay. A lot of that is to support the activity of the new shutter. This is a new shutter mechanism right. developed for the 77. Allows the camera to shoot at 12 frames per second. Which sounds like this. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, fastest digital SLR available today. 12 frames per second, wow. a very rugged shutter unit that uh, has up to 150,000 cycle uh, rated. Another key element for the 77's development was this new image sensor. This is the 24.3 megapixel APS-C image sensor we developed for the 77. We featured it in a couple of other cameras this year, but it debuts in the 77. Very important part is it's the world's first 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've been able to do through advancements in sen sensor technology is to realize extraordinary picture quality in the APS-C size. Yeah, when you read a lot of camera buyer's guides, they tell you once you get to a certain size, cramming more megapixels pixels in doesn't really improve picture quality, but you guys have actually found a way around that with this. Yeah, with this generation of sensor technology, we've been able to get extraordinarily good low noise performance with retention of detail right on up through ISO 3200, ISO 6400 as well. And some of the initial reports on the web with some of the initial uh, image quality tests have really borne this out. Another key element of this sensor is mm -hmm. its throughput. Uh, we've been able to uh, support the 12 frames per second at 24 megapixels, which has never, never been done before. Up until now, 24 megapixel cameras have been limited to five frames per second. Wow. So with this resolution at 12 frames per second, we've really set a new standard, a new record for what a digital SLR can do. Uh, it's also very important for the movie capability. Okay. Because one of the things that we've done in the A77 is allow for selectable frame rates. We can shoot at 24p for a cinematic effect. We can shoot at 60 interlaced. But more importantly, for the first time, we can now shoot at 60 progressive. So full 1920 by 1080 at 60 progressive frames. Never been done before in a digital SLR. Wow, that's awesome. Really renders uh, motion in a way in which no other uh, format can. We've also been able to uh, maintain our uh, steady shot inside sensor shift image stabilization. So every lens you shoot with uh, has the advantage of up to four stops of image stabilization. So the uh, new image sensor is really a very, very important part of the A77. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Another key element can be found on this. This is the main PC board of the camera. Uh, the Beyond's processor, all new for this camera. Mm -hmm. Very important because, again, imagine the amount of data that 24 megapixels at 12 frames per second is presenting to the processor. Yeah. So the ability to shoot and even shoot raw at that kind of frame rate uh, is what the processor is supporting in terms of throughput of data. It also supports the new uh, AVC HD 2.0 codec, so you can shoot at 60 progressive full HD frames. It also has built-in uh, correction for lens aberration and okay. lens distortion. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility built into the processor, which is all new, again, for the A77. Very cool. And then, of course, you're, uh, you're looking at your picture as it's going through all this technology on this guy right here, which I love. And we've seen kind of a similar tilting thing on other NEX cameras and other Alpha cameras, but this one is kind of improved, right? Yeah, this is the most flexible uh, articulation that we've uh, developed uh, to date, and actually it's unique in the world of SLRs. Obviously there are plenty of uh, tilt and swivel uh, LCDs available in SLRs, but they typically will fold the LCD out to the side of the camera, so the yeah. LCD is no longer on the shooting axis. What we've done here is combine a tilting mechanism with a swiveling mechanism that is centered on the shooting axis of the camera, so you can uh, shoot around corners you can self-shoot, you can uh, shoot from all kinds of different angles, all the while maintaining uh, the uh, center line of the uh, lens in your framing. That's awesome. 
But another key element uh, you can frame, of course, with the LCD, but even, even more so you can frame with this new eye-level viewfinder that we've created. Yeah, this guy is awesome. Tell me more about this. So this is the world's first eye-level viewfinder for an SLR using OLED technology. So what does that mean? Well, in the A33 and the A55, we used LCD technology. Mm -hmm. And there are limits to LCD technology when used uh, as a viewfinder, um, primarily in terms of resolution and speed. Mm -hmm. So whereas the viewfinders of the A33 and the A55 were under uh, a million pixels, what we've done with the OLED viewfinder is almost triple the resolution to about 2.4 million pixels of resolution. Very, very important wow. to give you a beautiful, detailed viewfinder image without any uh, evidence of pixels. But more importantly, each pixel of OLED can make all of the colors necessary, whereas with LCD technology, we would uh, each pixel would multiplex between red, green, and blue. Okay. So the kind of uh, speed and reaction time of OLED is much, much faster. The contrast ratio is much, much uh, uh, higher as well and as a result you can get a viewfinder image that rivals the very very best optical viewfinders but all at the same time maintain the advantages of electronic viewfinders. Yeah actually when I put this up to my eye the first time it took me a second to realize that it was a screen. I think until I saw a, one of those little overlays I didn't even realize. It looks really clear. And that's one of the key advantages. You can overlay uh, information that you would never be able to see in an optical viewfinder. Another advantage of the electronic viewfinder is you can use the eye level finder for play back, mm -hmm. which you can't do with an optical viewfinder, and you can also use it when shooting movies, which you can't do with an optical viewfinder. So it's a real tremendous tool for uh, using the camera. Very cool. And this guy feels super, super solid in my hand, and I don't mean like overly heavy or anything, it just feels solid. Yeah, the A77 is con conceived as an enthusiast camera or, prof or a professional camera, and it has the, uh, the grip and fit and finish and uh, moisture and dust resistance that you would uh, expect in a camera like this. We use a magnesium alloy body construction and a real aggressive grip to give you uh, great handling when uh, shooting uh, in the field. Very cool. Man, this is all super impressive, and I feel like I have a much better handle on it. Mark, thanks so much for having us out today. Thanks, Anthony. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more about the A77 or anything Sony makes, you can check out our videos at sony.com slash signal or youtube.com slash signal. You can also leave your comments and questions there. Thanks for watching.